shining through one another and that's not what we need at all so with our camera we'll turn on uh we'll turn the 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 the, the comics into not a single one since they're all in the same exact place right now which is not good that's not what we need so we're gonna take one comic here and with these comics we're gonna we're gonna go to we're gonna hit this cube and go to the dope sheet and open this up and now what we have here is every single one of these comics and their keyframes so to make this a bit easier to work with instead of scrolling all the way up and down we're gonna click once on this arrow and then just drag down um, and drag all the way across so now we have a much more easier workspace um, to work with still a lot of keyframes but it's much easier to work with now since they're all collapsed all right so with that done what we're going to do is every single one of these needs to be spread out like two keyframes so what we're going to do is i'm going to select all of these 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 uh second keyframes all of these second keyframes we're going to select all those and then we're going to move them all so i'm going to unselect the top keyframe which is this one right here by hitting B and my middle mouse button and dragging a box with my, my middle mouse button held down. All right, so we're going to do that in one, hit G on your keyboard and one, two, move those up, over, and then do the same thing. B, middle mouse button to uh, deselect that one, and then G, and move it over one, two frames. And we do the same thing for all of these, these keyframes, G, one, two, uh, B, middle mouse button, G, one, two, and the same thing over and over again. As you can tell, those comics are separating from each other because the end frame is being uh, is being uh, tossed out. So they're, they're coming down, but the problem with this is if we look at this, they're going slower. They're going slower the further and further they're coming out because this keyframe, these first two keyframes, these are still staying where they are. So instead of just moving the last ones, we're going to have to move the entire the entire thing. So with every single one of these keyframes selected, except for the top one, we're going to hit G and move them one, two. And the same thing. The so same thing. Now we have the first keyframes with us. And we're going to do the same thing over and over again. So now these keyframes will, these uh, frames, these comic book pages will maintain their speed instead of going slower over time. So we're going to do those, these until we have a straight staircase going down with all of these uh, keyframes uh, being separated from each other so we can see the individual comics as they come down. All right, now that all of our comics are separated, when we play this, you'll be able to see that we have each one of these individual comics coming down, but the problem is is that we can't tell because they're not in the correct order. So the correct order, you can see that they, we can see them all coming down, but the problem is some comics are behind other ones. And the reason for this is because each single one of them is overlapping the other one. So if I go into my camera's view and we play this, you'll see a couple of them come down and they'll stop and they'll play one and they'll do, do another one. But the problem is, like I said, they're overlapping each other since they're all in the same exact place. So the way we can fix this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this first comic and we're going to drag this bad boy back. So when this gets to the fifth frame, what we're going to do, it's last frame, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this backwards with automatic keyframing on. We're going to drag this back behind all the comics a, a considerable amount. Um, and we'll fix the camera after this, but we're going to do this for now. And with, uh, with five on our numpad, um, we're going to try and get as close to the, a side view as possible, but still being able to, to see the comics. So instead of just going all the way to the side like that, we're going to leave a little bit of space so we can see what's going on. With this one right here on the fifth frame, we're going to drag this one just almost uh, behind the Captain America comic so that it's in front of it. And with this one the same way, so we're going to go ahead, ahead two frames on the last frame, the second frame of this one, and go and pull that back. Same thing with this one, one, two, on the last, on the second frame of this one, pull that back, one, two, same thing for this one, and we're going to keep doing this over and over again so that we can see each individual comic as it comes down, make sure they're always in front of the comics though, you don't want to actually put it behind and like back there, um, so we're going to keep doing this over and over again and give us some space so we can see the comics coming down, it kind of looks as if we're creating a book of pages. Um, so that's what you want to keep in mind here. Each page needs to go on top of the other one so we can see them as they fall down. You want to try and get them as close as possible because the the more and more comics you have, the less space you're going to have towards the end here. As you can see, I'm running out of space here. Um, but if that's the case, we can always fix that really easy just by uh, moving some of them back. Um, I don't have much space left at all, so we're going to move them back until we can't anymore. I have like four left. Um, and we're going to select this one right here. Move that one back. Oh, and that was perfect. We actually had a, just enough space so that they would all come down in front of each other. As you can see, now we have all the comics scrolling 
uh, the way they should be instead of being on top of one each other but up here they're still on top of each other but when they come down they are no longer in each other's way so when we play this you should be able to see that we have all the comics coming down individually until frame 63 and it ends on Iron Man punching Captain America so uh, we have that going but that's not gonna be exactly enough uh, comics so what we're gonna do is this is a little fast I think that that it, it, it ends pretty fast but the good thing is, is that these comics they scroll really really fast um, so like I said we're probably gonna need a little bit more than 30 so what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate a few of these a few of these comics out and instead of just taking them what we're gonna do is you could go back and like I said that's why I want to keep the originals so we can have like inst like for this Black Widow comic for example we took this space up here this space up here uh, primarily but you could do a second version of this and use this bottom space with black widow's giant head um so i mean you could you could do that instead and then you can get a variation but for the sake of this tutorial um instead of just making like 30 more you're probably gonna need somewhere around 60 but instead of just duplicating the work that we just did for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to just uh duplicate the comics that we just that we just did so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select every single one of these comics um, so B to box select, drag all, drag a box over all of them, and then hit Shift D. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to move them to another another layer, and I'm gonna turn automatic keyframing off just so no, no accidents happen. Um, and down on our second layer that I moved it to, this is the first layer, this is the second layer. We're going to ha hit Shift A and add in a cube, and uh, drag this back to about like right right there, and scale that down a bunch. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go into this little cube over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to turn off in the... Oh, we're going to go and... Da, 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 da. So with our cube selected, we're going to scroll on down until we get to uh, cycles settings inside of the cube. Uh, in the cube little thing right there. <laughs> Yeah, it's object data. So we're going to scroll down until we get to cycle settings and we're going to uncheck everything so that the camera cannot see our cube. This is just a guide for us. Um, and with everything, with all of our comics on our second layer selected with B, box select, and drag over all those. We're going to ho hold down shift and right click our cube, hit control P to set parent to object. So now when we move this cube, all of the comics will move as well. Even if this is playing, they will all move with the cube, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, with the cube and all of the comics selected, so we're going to hit all, uh, box select everything with B, drag our mouse cursor over that, and with everything selected, hit M on our keyboard, move it back to the first layer. Now with the cube, we're going to move this slightly, we're going to move the cube slightly behind the other comics, just behind so all of them do not cross over. Um, so something like that. All right. And now what we're going to do is, as you can tell, if we do this, the comics, both of the layers that we have, they play at the same time. That's not what we need. We need the second layer to play after the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the dope sheet once again. And uh, with uh, with this going, we're going to add in uh, the dope with this little cube. We're going to hit the, the dope sheet and add that back in. And what we're going to do here is um, with all of the du duplicates selected because since we have them selected still since that's the last thing we did they will still be selected we will drag them all until the end frame right here which looks to be frame 56 until frame 56 until the first frame of the second uh, of the second comics plays at frame 56 um, so that's what we're going to do but as you can tell, what just happened is we did that to both of them since we have both of them selected. So we're going to undo that. And what we're going to do is instead of doing them all at the same time like that, you can see that we have duplicates. Every other one is the back row. Everyone that says one over here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all of those that say one, those are all the ones that we need. So we need all the second ones. So we're going to go around, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select each one of these by holding down uh, shift. So we're going to select the bottom one of all of these. So both of these, we're going to go and just box select the bottom two for all of these, uh, for all of these comics here. 